But, but the question I have to ask is, we continue to see this flight from Hong Kong in terms of population. You continue to see this shifting of the guard in terms of China's influence in Hong Kong. Does that impact the, the property market? Not perhaps within a year, but over the next five, ten years, for anyone looking for duration, are we going to see weakness pervading just off those reasons alone? Uh, I think there's much more to it than that. <laughs> but certainly those factors have had an influence in the last year or two. Uh, I think the... Uh, uh, the, the, the issue about the national security law and, and uh, the, the problems that that has created. But on top of that, of course, have been the very restrictive policies around COVID. And on top of that, the interest rates. So you've got a very, very weak economy happening at a time uh, when interest rates are rising, which is exactly the wrong formula. So uh, I, I think we're going to expect to see continued weakness in the property market in Hong Kong going forward uh, over the next uh, uh, year or so. We've seen uh, since the peak of property prices last year, about 11%, according to the statistics I'm seeing, uh, is, is down. Uh, volumes of transactions are well below the long-term averages. So a very negative sentiment. And I expect we'll see that continue for the next uh, six to 12 months. So then it would appear that everything you're suggesting has a little bit of a blue sky element to it, that you think that this is a short-term thing that can be mitigated in the medium to long term for anyone that's looking to invest in Hong Kong property? Well, put it this way, <laughs> the Hong Kong property market is the most volatile property market in the world, by far. Uh, and if we think in the period since the global financial crisis, which kicked in in 2006, 2007, we're now in the seventh meaningful downturn in that property market. So uh, we're very volatile in Hong Kong. Uh, that's, the, the, that's, the, that's the market. Uh, this, market this time round, it's going to be perhaps a little steeper than the recent falls that we've seen in the past. But think of it, even now, since uh, the global financial crisis, property prices are still up 300% from where they were uh, before the GFC. They're up 600% from where they were in 2003 at the end of the last down cycle. So uh, if, you're, if you're looking at uh, volatility and you're happy to live with volatility, when the market dips 20 or 30% in Hong Kong, it's usually a time to buy. <laughs>